guys welcome back to my channel so today we'll be creating this black white and chrome silver balloon wall for a real estate company for their staff event so let's get started so i am using my pipe and drape stand and as you see i am only pulling the balloons making sure they i'm pushing it down at the same time a balloon popped there and then i'm twisting it around the pipe and it is a little harder if the pipe is thick um i am using two clusters at a time and i'm trying um you know to make sure i twist on both clusters and when i'm twisting on any cluster with those 18 inch or 16 inch balloons i'm making sure that i um, make sure the 16 inch or 18 inch balloon is um pushed to the front so it's showing in the front of the balloon wall and one thing when i was doing on here um and i'll just be doing one half of the wall the other half i ended up doing a reel so i was recording it there one thing i would have did different because i didn't use my top pole for the pipe and drink because we had i discussed with the client and we was we wanted to do a little smaller because it was going in front of like a photo booth for them to take pictures um in front of and we wanted to do like a four by six wall or six by four wall something like that so i didn't really need the pipe even though i end up making it a little bigger so anyway if i don't use the pipe or if you just doing a balloon wall say on an actual wall with no stand I suggest, which I should have did, when I do the size, I should have also did um, a cluster going over top of it, which would have made like a frame. Because when you just go up and up, and you, it kind of makes it uneven, and you'll see at the end. Um, so I should have did like a frame first and then filled it in. Next time I will do that, and then I know the purpose of sometimes creating that frame first so you won't really mess up the top layer and it all will be the same height. So that's something I definitely will do in the future when making, you know, any kind of wall or, you know, anything with, you know, a structure thing kind of thing. So right here you see me putting a, a quad in the front, which I end up adding another balloon. So I made a cluster six. Um, eventually I'll be doing it just to cover up the um, plate on the pipe and drape. And I am just going to continue to add these clusters on. And you want to make sure you tie both clusters together um, to each other. And sometimes you have to play around with the balloons to make sure they're nice and tight and making sure you're covering up. And I guess it could be a little bit easier if you was tying it from the, the back. Because I'm tying it from the front, you just want to make sure you cover up where those um, necks are connecting to so it's not showing. And as you see already, the height difference that I'm mentioning, um, some is um, because I'm not, I didn't do that frame and I didn't go across with, um, you know, clusters already to make a frame. You can see there are, there's already a height difference going on. And it was even worse <laughs> at the end. Not too bad, but I didn't, I, you know, I guess when you, the actual artist, you looking at it, everyone else just, of course, they just be like, it's beautiful. Like, nothing's wrong with it. But, you know, you yourself, you look at it, you be like, mm, no, I don't, you know, not really feeling that right there. And then this middle part, it got really tricky because you, you know, you're tying next to next and you're really in there scrambling for next. So... The white was actually double stuffed as well because I really didn't want it to look like, you know, really milky. So, um, I double stuffed the white, the black, and the reflex silver was not, of course, double stuffed. And I love it because it, the next was really long, so it was easier to use. The double stuff was a little, you know, a bit much, but <laughs> I made it work. And as you're going along, definitely go ahead and, you know, make sure you are making sure the clusters are nice and tight. I don't know what was going on there. Um, and then making sure everything is tied to each other. Um, and I will be filling in that open spot at the top. And I'm pushing some of these balloons in the front just to cover up those necks and turning around those 18 inches. 
to make sure they nice and um, open into the front it gives the wall you know different shapes and different dimensions going on if you have different um, sizes and I didn't do any larger balloons because people will be standing in front of this so I didn't want like 24 inch balloons poking at them um, so I, I only did the 5 11 and 18 and here we are just adding on those five inches. I made my little mini clusters that I love. Um, those are basically three, um, three clusters. And then on top of that is two clusters. Um, sorry, three balloons, which is <laughs> one cluster. And then on top of the three balloons, which is the five inch balloons, I put like four, a cluster of four balloons or a quad of like those mini, mini balloons. And which I love. It definitely gives a different a different detail to the whole look so and i'm just going in finding a neck um, finding where i can just place these five inch balloons just to detail the wall out a little bit more and this is the final look you guys so as you see at that top part right there it was not all the same height um, it annoyed me a lot, but <laughs> they were still very um, happy and appreciative. And this is how everything came out. It's all about the angles, guys, because the angle right here, you can't really tell. <laughs> it's all about the angles, trust me. But this is the final look, and this is how everything turned out. If you have any questions, please let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.